Now, Channel 3 Early Warning Weather with Chief Meteorologist Bruce DePriest. All right, uh, today was a little bit colder than yesterday. Yesterday we had highs in the low and middle 40s. Today we were in the 30s and the low 40s, still a little bit above normal, but certainly there was a chill in the air today. We had a high of 38 at Windsor Locks, 42 was the high in New Haven. You get into the western part of the state and temperatures ne never made it out of the middle 30s, including Waterbury, Torrington, Danbury, and also Salisbury, just highs around 36 or 37 degrees. There's our eye cam in Hartford. Still some light in the sky with the sunset uh, this evening at 5 Five o'clock straight up and there's our eye cam in New Haven where we have a mostly cloudy sky overhead. So we do have brighter days ahead. The rest of the week is looking just fine. Early warning pinpoint toppers scanning the state dry. Yesterday we had sprinkles. Today we don't. And right now temperatures are mostly in the 30s. We have 40 degrees in New Haven, but well, Mantic, you're standing at uh, 36 and uh, Torrington right at the uh, freezing mark. So in the uh, northwestern part of the state, temperatures are at or below freezing. And when you factor in the breeze out there, there is certainly a stiff breeze uh, to put wind chills in the 20s and lower 30s right now. So a lot of clouds across the northeast, but not much in the way of precipitation. And you look off to our north in Canada, there's a lot of clear sky and essentially high pressure is going to build southward over the next few days, uh, bringing us brighter skies as time goes on. So future cash shows that tomorrow morning will either have a clear to partly cloudy sky and tomorrow a partly to mostly sunny day. So there's Wednesday 7 a.m. or 7 p.m. I should say. Then as we go into Thursday morning, a mainly clear sky and it looks like we'll enjoy a mostly sunny day. So low temperatures tonight are going to be in the 20s. There could be some upper teens in the normally colder spots and your highs for tomorrow will range anywhere from the mid 30s in the hills to uh, between 35 and 40 across much of the state. So that downward trend in temperatures will continue as we go through not only tomorrow, but for Thursday as well. Well, what about that weekend storm? The models have been shifting things to the west with a higher impact storm than shifting things to the east with a lower impact. Here's the latest model run starting with the European model, and it has this mainly dry Saturday morning, possibly brushing us with a little precipitation Saturday. And then by 7 o'clock in the evening, the storm is well offshore, and out it goes up to the Canadian Maritimes, leaving us with a pretty nice Sunday. As far as the GFS now, morning runs had this uh, storm coming a little bit closer, but the latest run of the GFS has the storm also tracking well offshore with little or no impact on Connecticut as the storm races out to sea well to the south and east of New England. So we'll keep an eye on this closely. A storm tracked closer to the coast and it's still possible would mean a higher impact on Connecticut. So here's your seven day forecast. Thursday, sunny, a low of 18 and a high of 36 and Friday, perhaps a little bit milder with a high near 40 and then we'll say a chance for some snow or a wintry mix on Saturday. Otherwise, mostly cloudy and breezy near 38. And for Sunday, Groundhog Day, it looks like it's going to be dry for Groundhog Day and Super Bowl Sunday with nice weather on tap for Monday and Tuesday as temperatures rebound to near 50. That's it for now.